told me there'd be better days And nothing that can pull us under You wanna take the pain away But know that I was born as a fighter We fail, we fail, but we're better than that We're better than that I know, you know, so why are we holding on, holding on Hey guys, welcome back to the channel In today's video, look we have here Hi Say guys hi. We got Lisa and then we're just walking around the neighborhood and uh, today is just a chill shoot. We're just going to take some photos with the Fujifilm X-H2 and I got I bought, I bought a bunch of various lenses here and I'm gonna take you guys along for the ride so let's go. We got this cool in interesting backdrop we can use and then we also have the sun blasting us from right right there. It's hitting uh, Lisa at a 45 degree angle and it's creating some harsh shadow but it looks really really good right now. Nice. Oh, there it is. Oh, that looks good too. Look that way. Nice. Switch it up, switch it up. Great. And then, let's see. Nice. Nice. Oh yeah, that's gorgeous. All right, let's let's move. Yeah. We can move. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching today's video. It was a great little shoot that I did with Lisa. This was like a fun little session for me because I was just testing out a few different lenses. One of the lenses that I was using was the TT Artisans 27mm f2.8. This is the one with the autofocusing and it's a fun little lens to use for a portrait. Again, I'm not used to this focal length. I don't use it often. So this was a new way for me to like flex my creativity, get my brain juices flowing and you know, just get that, um, you know, get those juices going again, right? So I had a lot of fun. Uh, this lens is surprisingly not bad for its price. So I gotta give props to TT Artisans for making a capable, small and light uh, compact lens. I'm I'm impressed. The other lens that I used was the Lawa 33mm f0.95. Obviously it was used for the Tony. I was just shooting this thing wide open and getting some of that interesting, um, background blur with the, um, the f0.95 and then the other one was the Voigtlander 23 millimeter f1.2 now uh, yeah the 23 millimeter f1.2 Voigtlander for portrait sessions it's not bad uh, once you stop it down it's pretty good but again it could be not as sharp wide open as some people would like so that's why i had options in today's portrait sessions i was just like mixing and mashing to see which lens works well with what i was kind of looking to see where i can use certain lenses where i should where i shouldn't if i think the background needs more context so i'll shoot with like the 23 millimeter to get that wide background shot if i found that the, the the background is a little bit distracting. That's when I use the 33 millimeter Argus F0.95. Just blow out the background, just make it 
blurry so that you know you guys can't see it so that, that way you can just isolate on Lisa just get that delicious creamy background blur that everyone loves <laughs> again this was a quick little photo session with the lovely Lisa it's always nice to shoot with her and if you haven't already go ahead and follow Lisa on Instagram I'll leave the links to her, her Instagram down in the description below and if you're interested in any of the lenses that I use on the shot I'll leave the links to them uh, also down below and do me a favor guys if you haven't already please subscribe to my channel where you can see more behind the scenes photo shoot like this one I do Fujifilm and photography related content on this channel and oh yeah I forgot to mention I'm giving away uh, two lenses to one lucky winner I'm gonna give away the 7 Artisans 35mm f1.2 and the TT Artisans 23mm f1.4 as soon as I hit 10,000 subscribers as soon as I hit 10k I will announce the winner uh, for you guys so yeah just subscribe to my channel guys that'll help out a whole lot I do Fuji I do Fujifilm and photography related content on this channel and as always my name is Tung and I'll see you in the next video I love you Okay, bye. Queen heart. Queen heart. Get, get, get it.